In this video, I will show you how to create a transformer animation in Blender. The basic idea is to choose an electronic or mechanic device and transform it into a robot, as in the movie Transformers. From my experience with the Music Man, I'd suggest to start with a small and simple object like a small table clock, a car key, a cell phone or a USB stick. You should pick an object with a higher volume to surface ratio. With such a ratio, you can hide elements inside during the animation and the process become much easier. Ok, we want to transform this speaker into a robot. We need to do some planning. It would be cool if we can reuse some of the features for the robot's face. The headphone plugin could become the eye. The on-off switch could become the nose and the USB port could be the mouth. If your object doesn't have any of such features, you can hide them inside the volume and bring them up during the animation. The speaker itself and the control panel will be the feet of the robot and won't be divided. The robot also has legs, I gave them a red emission shader for the tutorial. The hull faces should attach to the legs in the animation. After I wrapped the legs in hull faces, I have a lot of unused faces left. So I thought it would be a good idea if these faces stack on each other and the stack can attach to the hip of a robot. For the practical part, I switched to a new Blender project. I designed a simple USB stick. Before we can start, we need to apply the mouse modifiers. The mirror modifier and the subdivision surface modifier for example. In case you use curves or NURB surfaces in your model, you need to convert them into a mesh. Therefore go to Object, Convert, Mesh. I switch to Solid View and Edit Mode and first I added several loop cuts in X direction and two in Y direction. Now the creative part begins. We need to decide how we separate our object. I select the surrounding edges of these two faces and go to Mesh, Split, Face by Edges. Let's switch to Face Select mode and we can see the two faces have been separated from the mesh. Now we need to divide the whole project into small parts. For this tutorial, I only separate another single face. For demonstration, I went back to the Music Man project. I don't have a simple surface. The faces have a little thickness due to the Solidify modifier. I used the modifier to hide the contact of the faces and the connecting cylinders in the volume. Of course you can model a proper connection between the cylinders and the faces, but this means a lot of work. Back to our USB stick. We add a Solidify modifier. It looks strange because the Solidify modifier is behind the Smooth by Angle modifier. When we switch the order, the stick looks normal again. Select the rest of the model and hide it with H. Go to Object Mode and add a single bone from the armature menu. Switch to Edit Mode and activate the X-Ray Mode. As always, go to Viewport Display and select In Front. Select the tail of a bone and press EY to extrude a new bone in Y direction. Move a new bone down the Z axis into the internal central structure. I hope you can see the internal cube in the YouTube video. Switch back to edit mode of a USB stick. Now we need to add a connecting cylinder. Add a cylinder, reduce the number of vertices and with S, Shift Z, scale it down. Place the bottom in the central cube and the top in the hull face. We can be more precise. Select the hull face and press Shift plus S and cursor to select it. Select the top of a cylinder, go to Mesh, Snap, Selection to Cursor, Keep Offset. Select the bottom of a cylinder once again and choose Cursor to select it. Switch to Edit Mode of the Armature and select the tip of a lower bone and extrude again in Y direction with EY. Deactivate the checkbox Connected 
in the bone menu and rename the bone connection. Go to armature menu, snap to 3D cursor. Switch to edit mode of the USB stick and snap the cursor to the top of the cylinder and snap the tip of a connection bone to 3D cursor. Extrude another bone from the tip of a connection bone, name it face and deactivate the inherit rotation by the setting the value to none. Extrude another bone from the tip of the structure bone in Z direction and deactivate the connected option. Rename the bone to outer face. Move the bone to the second separated faces. Return to object mode, select the USB stick, shift select the armature and press Ctrl P, armature deform with empty groups. For now we can deactivate the X-ray mode. In the object data properties we can see that Blender has created a vertex group for every bone in the armature. In edit mode we must assign vertices for each vertex group. I select the single face and assign the vertices to the group face. After the assignment I lock the vertex group with a little lock symbol. Next I select the cylinder and assign the vertices to the group connection. Select the two faces and assign them to the group outer face. You must assign the other vertices to the according groups. Now we can return to object mode. Select the armature and go to pose mode. Select the connection bone and create a keyframe with I. With N open the side menu and jump to frame 20 in the timeline. Bring down the Y value in the scale section to 0.4. Select the outer face bone and jump to frame 10. It is better if not all face animations start at the same frame. Create a keyframe and jump to frame 15. Move the bone down a little bit and create another keyframe. Next keyframe could be at frame 30. Move the bone to the center and rotate it 90 degrees around the z-axis. At frame 40, move the bone down again to the central structure. I set the max frame to 50 to test the animation. During editing the video, I recognized that I forgot to show an animation of a feature of a USB stick. I chose the plug of a USB stick for demonstration. In edit mode, I select the face of the cover and hide the faces with edge. I switch to edge select mode and separate the plug from the rest of the model. With the edges selected, I execute the command cursor to select it. I switch to edit mode of the armature and select the tip of a structure bone. Extrude another bone in Y direction and deactivate connected. Rotate the new bone 180 degrees around the Z axis. Now we can snap the bone again to 3D cursor and rename the bone to plug. Switch back to edit mode of the USB stick and for our convenience, the vertices of the plug are still selected. Add another vertex group with a plus icon and name it plug. Assign the vertices and switch to post mode of the armature. Now we can animate the plug and build with other elements a face for example. Using this incremental approach, you don't need to plan every detail of the animation in advance. We can do the animation step by step. Back in the Music Man project, I blend in the armature of this project. As you can see, we have a lot of bones and vertex groups. So I highly recommend naming the bones properly. At the end, I have some useful tips for you. Don't start the animation of each face at the same time. Use the stacking to collapse large faces. If you already know the camera field of view, you can cheat a little bit. When you start with the faces of the opposite side, these faces are covered by the front. 
you can save animation here and move the faces directly to the destination. When you finish the transformation, you can bake this animation into an action and put other animations on top. And that's it for this tutorial and have fun transforming your object into a robot.